The Voyager probe, this small traveler built by human hands, has been relentlessly moving away from Earth for over four decades. It has gone so far that the sun can no longer protect it, stepping into a realm no human has ever reached. But just when we thought its adventure was over, it encountered a phenomenon that stunned even the most seasoned scientists. A discovery that unveiled a new layer of the dark and unknown secrets of the cosmos. Today, on the Astreon channel, we embark on that same journey together. A journey for which no end can be imagined. Everything began in the 1970s when NASA designed two twin probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, to study the outer planets of the solar system. This mission was part of a larger program that took advantage of a rare cosmic opportunity. The alignment of the planets, which happens every 175 years, allowing the probes to use the gravitational force of the planets like a chain of slingshots to gain speed and cover vast distances without much fuel. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, from Cape Canaveral in Florida, just 16 days after its twin brother, Voyager 2. Their initial goal was simple, yet ambitious to approach the gas giants of the solar system and send data that humanity could only imagine from afar until then. Voyager 1 first headed toward Jupiter, the largest planet in the system. In March 1979, as it passed by this giant, it sent stunning images showing Jupiter's stormy atmosphere in detail. Massive storms like the Great Red Spot and thin rings that were previously unknown. But the real excitement was in Jupiter's moons. For example, the moon Io, where Voyager discovered the most active volcanoes in the solar system. Eruptions that hurl molten sulfur hundreds of kilometers into space, all from a distance where signals took over an hour to reach Earth. After Jupiter, Voyager 1, with even greater acceleration gained from Jupiter's gravity, headed toward Saturn. In November 1980, it passed by this beautiful planet with its intricate rings and scent data, revealing the ring's structure as thousands of icy and rocky bands. The moon Titan, with its thick nitrogen atmosphere resembling early Earth, captured everyone's attention. But this is where Voyager 1's path changed. Unlike Voyager 2, which continued to Uranus and Neptune, Voyager 1 was directed upward and out of the solar system's plane, toward the most unknown part of its journey, interstellar space. How did this probe cover such a distance? Its current speed is about 17 kilometers per second. That's over 61,000 kilometers per hour. Its power comes from radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which convert plutonium-238 into electricity. But this source weakens over time, and now less than half of its original power remains. Voyager 1 has traveled over 24 billion kilometers, equivalent to 166 astronomical units from the Sun. Where one astronomical unit is the distance from Earth to the Sun. But beyond the numbers, this probe also carries a cultural message. The Voyager Golden Record, which records sounds, images, and music from Earth, from greetings in 55 languages to box music and whale sounds. This record is like a message in a bottle in the cosmic ocean, 
for any civilization that might one day find it. Upon entering interstellar space in 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind collides with cosmic winds and the heliosphere, the sun's protective bubble, ends. This crossing was not like passing through a solid wall, but gradual. Scientists confirmed it by the decrease in solar particles and the increase in galactic cosmic rays. And from that moment on, strange discoveries began. Discoveries showing that interstellar space is not a calm void, but a dynamic environment full of wonders. One of the first strange phenomena was the detection of a faint, uniform plasma hum, reported in 2021. This sound, not a real sound of course, but plasma vibrations, ionized gas, acts like a constant whisper in the silence of space. Voyager's plasma wave instrument recorded it, allowing scientists to measure plasma density without needing specific solar events. This hum not only revealed the density of the interstellar medium, about 40 times greater than inside the heliosphere, but also showed how solar activities, even at great distances, create waves that shake this space like ocean waves. These vibrations led to larger phenomena, like sudden jumps in plasma density and magnetic field intensity. Since 2012, Voyager has recorded such increases several times, for example in 2020 when plasma density had a major spike and the magnetic field grew stronger. Scientists describe this as pressure fronts, pressure waves originating from solar storms that affect the heliosphere even beyond the heliopause. These jumps remind us that our sun still maintains its influence, and interstellar space is like a stormy ocean with constantly shifting boundaries. But the real complexity lies in the heliopause itself, a boundary that scientists thought would be simple and clear, but Voyager showed how dynamic and unexpected it is. The magnetic field at this boundary only changed direction by 2 degrees, not the 90 degrees that models predicted. This means particles can move between inside and outside the heliosphere, like magnetic highways connecting two worlds. This discovery challenged old models and showed that the heliopause is not a wall, but a thick region with constant fluctuations where cosmic and solar winds interact in a complex dance. Amid these fluctuations, Voyager also monitored galactic cosmic rays, high energy particles from supernova explosions in distant parts of the galaxy. Outside the heliosphere, these rays are more intense because the solar wind no longer weakens them. By measuring them, Voyager showed how these particles spread in the interstellar medium and interact with the heliosphere, deepening our understanding of the solar system's protection against cosmic radiation, radiation that can alter DNA and threaten life. And then we come to one of the most mysterious parts. Voyager's entry into a region with a continuous increase in plasma density Unlike temporary jumps, this was ongoing. Some scientists call this a massive pressure bulge or an ancient plasma cloud that the heliosphere is passing through. This phenomenon may be part of the galaxy's history, indicating long-term effects of cosmic activities on our system. But the challenges weren't just scientific. Voyager also faced technical issues that make the story even more dramatic. 
In November 2023, a chip in the flight data system failed, making signals incomprehensible. But NASA engineers, after months of effort, restored communication in May 2024. Recently, in May 2025, they revived the backup thrusters to maintain the probe's position, as the main thrusters were clogged due to silicon buildup. These challenges are like the fight of an old but stubborn explorer who hasn't given up yet. And now, we reach the climax. The recent discovery of a wall of fire, or an extremely hot region at the edge of the solar system. This region, with temperatures between 30,000 to 50,000 degrees Celsius, exists without actual fire. Because the particle density is so low that heat doesn't transfer, and Voyager pass through it unharmed. But what is Voyager's fate? This lonely cosmic traveler, with its fuel running out, may shut down forever in the coming decades. But its journey will continue. In absolute silence among the stars, it will go on for millions of years, passing by countless systems and perhaps one day, maybe millions or even billions of years later, it will be found by an alien civilization. A civilization that opens the Voyager Golden Record and hears our first message to the cosmos. A greeting from a small blue planet in a remote corner of the Milky Way galaxy.